Heading in to the second year last exam, the stakes have never been higher, as their father threatened to destroy the quintuplets' newfound independence. They all must pass this exam in order to prove to themselves that they have what it takes, as well as to prove their father wrong. Hello everyone and welcome to the Enemies Iliad and thank you for joining me as we talk about chapters 51 to 59 of the Quintessential Quintuplets manga series. A really good set of chapters that helps build up both the tension within the story and builds up the quintuplets themselves, developing them even further, making them more of an interesting set of characters. So first, let's start off by talking about Ichika, learning about how she's been pushing herself with her acting as a way to support slash pay for the expenses that the quintuplets currently have. This was really enlightening, as it helps further emphasise her desires to support her sisters in any means necessary. And in the fact that she's also studying in her spare time slash on her breaks, this again reinforces her feelings towards Yutaki, as well as her desires to have a career in acting. As she knows, Yutaki would probably prevent her from acting if her grades started to fall and slip. Plus, she knows that Yutaki puts in a lot of effort when putting together their study sessions and their kind of notes, so she appreciates all the effort that he puts into it. After all, he's still helping them with their studies without payment. And her efforts aren't in vain, as she gets the highest score in the exam out of the quintuplets. And she's also getting more roles in acting thanks to the small parts that she's currently playing. Overall, I've gained a lot of respect for her character based on the events that have occurred and involved her character in throughout these two chapters and, well, sorry, these two arcs. Honestly, Ichika's character has really kind of boosted in my personal opinion. So I quite like the fact that we developed her character, we showcased a lot more of her personality and all around it was a positive result. Next up, we're looking at Yotsuba. This arc helps to present her character in more of a sadder and deeper tone, which ultimately makes her character a lot more interesting and different than what we've currently seen from her thus far in the series. As deep down, she blames herself for letting her sisters down at their previous school. That's why she wants to work so hard, so desperately wants to improve and make sure she doesn't fail them yet again. After the quintuplets did a redo test, Yotsuba was the only quintuplet to fail at this prestigious school's exam. With the mindset that her mother taught all of the quintuplets where all are one, meaning that they all stick together, they all act as like one unit, they all transferred to a different school. You could say the other quintuplets were forced to because of that kind of mindset, but at the same time it seemed more voluntary in the way that the text was portraying it. Whether or not uh, any of the quintuplets resent Yotsuba for her failing that test is to be decided later on because we don't actually know. No one actually realizes within the quintuplets that Yotsuba is suffering from her failures in this turn of events. So I do like that because once we learn about this, Yotsuba does become a bit more of a more interesting and intriguing character. So throughout this arc, she was afraid of letting them down yet again. This was evident by her still studying while they all went to the amusement park to have fun. She was hiding away in the ferris wheel, going on it over and over again, so she had somewhere to hide and study where her sisters and Yusuke would not find them. So seeing her passing the exam generally did make me smile, and it was great for her character to see as it was like a weight of pressure had finally been lifted off her shoulders. I did appreciate the fact that this arc didn't leave Yotsuba's passing of the test until the very end in an attempt to keep up like the ooh, will she, won't she sort of facade that they like to kind of do within this series. You know what? The way they structured this entire set of arcs I thought was great. So yeah, I mean Yotsuba, she had a fantastic run in this arc and one that was very much needed for her character. Yotsuba, you're not so dumb, congratulations. Finding your own path in life can be difficult, 
But seeing how Izuki moved a step closer to finding her dream path in life was inspiring and very fitting for her character. Seeing how easily and natural her skills of presenting information to her sisters within this arc helped them to improve their study overall, I thought worked wonders in going towards her dream of teaching. Yes, this dream, this path is the correct one in my personal opinion. And honestly, I can't wait to see where this leads her character in the future. I like the fact that her dream was inspired by her newly found information about her mother, even if that information was a lie slash fabrication. This means that we can have yet another confrontation in the future between Yusuke and Isuki if this fabricated lie ever gets revealed. Because that person that Isuki talks to, it blatantly was Yusuke in a disguise. I mean, we didn't see Yusuke throughout that part, as well as the fact that it looked very, very much like him. I haven't seen how they showed it in the anime, but I'm pretty sure uh, it makes it even more evident in that respect. Really quickly now, let's talk about the father, as his character came across as really immature and detestable, belittling his own daughters, going as far as outing Yotsuba, saying that she's not the smartest one out of the quintuplets. Choosing to talk to Itsuki as well also shows that he is very kind of vindictive and antagonistic. As he sees her as the more sensible one, or as the way I interpret it, he views her as the more easier one to manipulate because of her sensible nature. I like seeing that Yotsuba was the one to interject herself into the conversation and stand up against her father, claiming that things will be different from their previous schools as she will not let her sisters down yet again. This I liked because it helped strengthen her actions and resolve to improve herself and get past this hurdle that she has to try and overcome, which we see later on down this arc. So yeah, honestly, I like this, but as an antagonist, I'm really not liking the father all that much, but I guess he's doing his job as an antagonist for making me dislike him, but his design just isn't that good. So now let's move on and talk about Miku, as this arc might not have been the best arc for her in terms of development. Nevertheless though, it was still very enjoyable to see Miku's character develop a little bit, but also showcase what she could do. As it was genuinely nice seeing the relationship between Miku and Nino growing stronger as a result over them bonding in the kitchen cooking chocolates. Plus she finds the answer as to what present she truly wants to give Yusuke. Her answer is very simple. She wants to get the highest score on the test slash exams, as she feels like this would be the most honourable and kind gift, stating that Yusuke's time and effort would not have been wasted if she presents this to him. Even in defeat, she was graceful and vowed to never let Ichika win again. This again shows respect, which I liked because it links to previous statements in where she states that all sisters are free to try anything with Yusuke because she will never lose. So yeah, they help keeping that rivalry between uh, Ichika and Miku alive and more interesting. So I like the fact that that's being built up and moved forward along with the plot. As well as the fact is, Nino just shows great resolve, determination and respect, as well as some great um, emotions within these arcs. So yeah, honestly, I liked her character here, although it wasn't the best in terms of development, we've always been developing and showcasing what Miku can do, so it's good to see that they took a back seat with their character to improve the other quintuplets. Fun times. But speaking of rivalries, another challenger has arrived. That's right, it all started with a I love you. Nino was the first quintuplet to confess her feelings to Yusuke face to face. And thanks to the results of previous arcs like the Firework Festival and the whole Nino fighting Isuki, feelings have slowly started to bubble within Nino. And finally, after Yusuke zooms in on a motorbike, looking all cool and stuff, she finally knows that her feelings are love. The whole presentation of her confession I thought was rather comical, as her face and words really did not match up to say the least, creating an air of confusion and personally, if I was Yusuke, I would be very confused and wondering if Nino was just playing a really bad joke 
uh, in the process. So I wouldn't really take her confession seriously. Which looks to be how Yusuke is kind of reacting here. He's very confused, he's not quite sure what's going on, which makes a lot of sense. Nino has been rather hostile towards Yusuke in the past, so this is completely out of left field. So I do hope that in future arcs we get to see Nino try and convey her feelings more clearly and, you know, kind of break out the whole I'm just going to tease you and mess around with you and kind of actually present herself as a possible love candidate in Yusuke's eyes. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I absolutely love Nino with short hair. This is a brilliant design change that I'm so glad they made. Because it just makes the character look that much more appealing. And uh, yeah, honestly, still not my favourite, unfortunately. But she's getting there. I do like her presentation throughout this entire arc. I think it's pretty cool. And like I said, her facial expressions were just on point. So in closing out these arcs, I personally would say these were some fun, readable arcs. A lot did happen and a lot of development took place for characters and for plot. We got a kiss scene with Yotsuba and Yusuke. Yep, that happened. We got a love confession, obviously Nino and Yusuke. And of course, we got the potential development for Yusuke's character on the way very soon. As he slipped up and did not get a perfect 100% on his exam. Now, he does not look too unhappy or regrettable about the fact that he slipped up in this situation. Yes, he's upset with himself, but he's not blaming the quintuplets at all, which is something I really do like, because it proves that he's enjoying his time with them. Again, with the fact that he's doing it for free, that emphasizes that point exactly. So I want to see how he's going to bounce back and whether or not he's going to spiral even further down before he does bounce back eventually. We'll have to wait and see, but nevertheless, I thoroughly enjoyed these two arcs. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you have to say. And of course, if you like the points I raised in this video, or you like the video in general, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos in the future. But other than that, I hope you have an amazing day. Alligator, madane. Goodbye.